So we come to the 34, 33rd move of the whole 35 sequence we're doing. Um, again, stuck three forms together, the eight brocades at the beginning, which is eight moves, and um, the 18 form Qigong sequence, and then this nine form sequence. So again, that's 35 moves all in all. Um, put them all together, and we put the Pilates set up with them, or and yogic and hypnotic set up within the breath. Um, so basically, we're not going the traditional path, as in breathing into our bellies like a balloon. We're doing the opposite. Okay, the move is the seventh move of the last form, which I've added on three forms together basically. Okay, um, and again, it's like the seventh move of that ninth. Again, don't worry about that. It's the 33rd move of the whole 35 sequence, three forms stuck together. I've done these so you can do them either singly or I put sort of 35 in brackets. That's the number of how many moves in the form and what number it is. This is 33 of the whole 35. So again, you can do these singly or in order, whatever you like. Okay, um, This one's called Separate the Clouds. And again, it's a nice one. Like a lot of these Qigong sequences or Qigong sequences, depending on how you want to say it, um, where we're taking the moves from, they open out the chest and all the organs in the chest, which is always good because we compress the air between the shoulders there, the chest a lot, by bearing gravity a lot. And the way we live, we're overactive in these upper traps a lot. Um, different people to different degrees of that. And these get very sort of short, these muscles. So anything that opens out the chest is good. Um, a nice sort of traditional yawning type, opening the chest. Um, they're all linked to specific organs within the traditional forms. We're not doing the traditional forms, we're just taking the movement. But uh, this will help the pericardium, the heart lining, the heart and lungs. That's the organ specifically linked with this move, okay? which we're taking and putting our Pilates, yogic and hypnotic set up with. Um, so they're generally linked to electromagnetic magnetic even rivers, uh, which we're not going into. I've gone into them specifically on other more traditional Qigong videos. Okay, again, so let's just forget all that anyway. It's just movement at the end of the day, just movement. It's gonna be more spent on the breath. So zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals in a traditional Pilates way, okay? And as you do that, that's gonna naturally help you breathe into these lower lobes of lungs, anywhere but the stomach, unlike the traditional manner of Qigong. Okay, so we're gonna zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals, Take your navels towards your spine right now. As you do that, you'll feel that breath coming low and deep to these lower lobes of the lungs, the intercostals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach. If you wanna check that and make sure, then you get the two middle fingers touching underneath the xiphoid process, the sternum, okay, the breastbone there, palms on the lower lobes of the lungs. And as you keep on zipping up pelvic floor and scooping out your abdominals, and feel that breath coming in low and deep to them lower lobes of lungs, you'll feel this happening, this sort of motion within the middle fingers, slightly parting and coming back to touch each other. Okay, so you can either keep them there or just let the hands down, being safe in the knowledge that breath is going into them lower lobes of lungs, into costals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach, because there's nowhere else for the breath to go. Okay, so it has to go into these lower lobes of lungs, into costals, the ribs, anywhere but the stomach. So as we be more specific with that now, we're gonna breathe in through the nose and exhale through per slip. So you're sort of blowing out a candle through per slips as you zip up pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals with that lovely 3D breath. Just come in organ deep, cell deep even bone marrow deep into them lower lobes of lungs. So someone's opening up breath inside your rib cage and letting go, or someone's just pushing out from inside your ribs and letting go. Just adding width to the lungs as you breathe in and length to the out breath as you exhale, as if you're blowing out a candle through pursed lips. 
That's what we call lateral thoracic breathing in Pilates. That helps us use the pelvic floor and the corset muscle, the powerhouse, the girdle of strength, three layers deep, just all segmentally stabilizing our spine. What's called the transverse abdominis, that corset muscle, by helping us breathe anywhere but the belly button, helping us breathe free d style into these fish gills, breathe in through the nose, follow the journey all the way in, and exhale through pursed lips, and follow that journey all the way out. Now again, we're gonna close the mouth, and go a little bit down the yogic path, breathing in and out through the nose, but still zipping up pelvic floor and scooping out your abdominals, and taking the navel towards the spine. And as you breathe in and out through the nose now, that will lengthen the whole wheel cycle of the breath. Okay. Through that smaller filter through the nose, you'll feel that whole wheel cycle lengthen. Again, more sort of yogic, filtering, cleansing breath. More yogic, down that yogic path there. Now again, as you still zip up your pelvic floor and scoop out your abdominals, as you're doing that, you'll feel naturally your exhale, your out breath, will wanna fall longer than the inhale. So just simply allow that to happen. And then rather than the breath breathe you, you're gonna breathe the breath. You're gonna take your mind consciously to that out breath and consciously elongate the out breath. Quadruple it, double it, triple it, whatever you like, the out breath. Just make it longer than the in breath. Okay. A bit more sort of down the hypnotic path there. A bit like 7-Eleven breathing from hypnotherapy. But just make the out breath longer than the in breath within your limits. Okay. And again, that's going to stimulate the parasympathetic nervous system as you do that right now by elongating the out breath longer than the in breath and allowing that simplicity to relax the mind. All the things you don't think about, the parasympathetic nervous system, responses, sleep, digestion, rest, and relaxation will be benefited by simply elongating the out breath longer than the in breath. Cellular communication, all being benefited, organ function, that health, well-being, and renewal, all being benefited by elongating the out-breath longer than the in-breath, encouraging them restful relaxation responses and endless streams of comfort. Now again, as you keep on breathing out for the nose and elongating the out-breath longer than the in-breath, that's perfectly more than adequate for the breathing we're gonna do. Now, if you wanna make it a little bit more advanced, optional, okay, totally optional. We go to Ujjayi breath and add that on. If you can't get this, don't worry. Just carry on breathing in to them lower lobes of the lungs as you can, as you are now, for that smaller filter through the nose. Now, if you wanna take this on to Ujjayi breath, all you do is grip your esophagus, you narrow your esophagus, and make this sign whistling, silky, raspy breath from the back of the throat. It's like a Keep these shoulders down, so when I come up, <clears throat> and then we're gonna exhale. It's like an ah, when the mouth shut. It's like a sighing, whistling, and silky breath that you'll do <clears throat> when you concentrate. When you sort of like wanna do a fine motor skill, you make that sighing breath. But we're overemphasizing that silky, whistling, raspy sound. Ujjayi breath, victorious breath in Sanskrit. Breathing for the nose and exhaling for the nose. As you get that ujjayi breath. If you can't get that, don't worry. Just carry on doing the breath we've been doing. Okay. Again, ujjayi breath gives something even more for the mind to focus on and hear. Okay, so it's focusing breath, more focusing breath. No matter what you're doing, ujjayi breath or not, just be aware of the sound of the breath, the feel of the breath, as it weaves that tapestry of relaxation and every single organ, cell, sinew of the body at will. Lovely, ujjayi breath helps us build the heat and fan the fire to burn all the toxins in the body. Cease your breathing, okay? It would help stimulate the thyroid gland, which helps with weight control, etc. Helps us build the heat in the body, 
It helps us stay in the fire, burn all the toxins in the body. But again, if you can't get that, don't worry. Just carry on zipping up pelvic floor, scooping out your abdominals, breathing in and out through the nose. And with no effort, just elongate the out breath longer than the in breath. Or do that ujjayi breath. Now again, we're gonna calibrate and synchronize that and integrate that with the movement in what we call vinyasa. Breath synchronized movement in yoga, um, in Sanskrit, breath synchronized motion. So again, it's a nice simple motion, so I'll go back and demonstrate that. But again, with the motion with the exhale, we're gonna elongate the exhale for as long as you like. So from there, you're gonna empty one leg, fill up the next, okay, so, as you do that, I'm just gonna come close here. So we're gonna do basically from big toe to little toe, you're gonna to lengthen out. So if you've got a tripod from big toe to little toe to the center of your heel, rooting your foot in towards the floor as you empty the other leg. So I'm gonna demonstrate this now. So from here, we're just gonna open up the chest and push away the wall, Samson style. For that stretch, your little pinkies, but it's gonna be Two arms, one leg. So it's a uh, breathe in and exhale for as long as you like. Make that long, that exhale. If you need to touch down, just do a cat stance. Touch down with a toe and then the heel. Then breathe in sharp on the way up, but make this out breath longer. Again, exhale for as long as you like on this motion coming down, descending down. So as you ascend up, breathing sharp. Only as high as, with a leg as you like. You can go this high or lower, optional. Okay. And exhale for as long as you like. Allow the shoulders to melt in towards the body. Empty one leg, fill up the next. Breathing coming up sharper. Exhaling down. If you can't go that high, minimize the height. Okay. Otherwise, just leave one foot on the floor if you really can't balance. Zip up pelvic floor, scoop out your abdominals. Breathe in sharper and exhale down. And then empty the other leg. Be a centimeter or a millimeter or a foot off the floor. As you empty one leg, fill up the next. Again, it's a nice simple motion. I'm going more into the breath. You're breathing in sharper and exhaling, descending down. Elongating the out breath for as long as you like. Empty one leg, fill up the next. Like I said, exploit the speed and tempo. Slow is harder, fast is easier. If you need to touch down with that foot on the toe, and then the heel down while the elongated exhale is going out, then do that. But again, allow the shoulders to drop in to their own natural position. So you've got a trickle of water just running down the spine and dispersing, mounting the shoulders over hips, head over shoulders. Empty one leg, breathing in sharper up, exhaling down. So we elongate the exhale for as long as you like. Remember, exploit the rain, speed and tempo. Slow is harder, fast is easier, especially on the descending part as we're coming back down and feeling that soft cushion of the earth with that foot. Two, two arms, one leg, separate the clouds. It's like a sort of yawn in the morning, that first yawn in the morning as you open out the chest, all the organs in the chest, that lovely yawn in the morning. This will put the shoulders in the right position. Okay, helps that lovely soft view between the shoulder blades. Lovely, so exploit that rain speed and tempo. A millimeter, a centimeter or a foot off the floor with that foot. Lovely, but find your speed and tempo. Remember it's your union of your mind and body. So you make it as easy or as hard as you like with the modifications and the speed and the tempo and the range. Lovely, bring it down to heavens next, bang. 